guys welcome back to my channel um it's been a while since i've done a makeup tutorial on my channel but um it is so fall here i was waiting for the weather to change up on us because who wants to wear it let me change that because i was i was already wearing fall inspired makeup even before fall came <laughs> so anyway um since it's super cool outside Getting those fall vibes. Today is November 1st. This will be going up on November 3rd. So I wanted to go ahead and get this up for you guys just in time for, um, you know, Thanksgiving, uh, Christmas. I'm pretty sure I'll do something different for Christmas, but you get the gist. So um, this is a really easy. Uh, everything was drugstore. Uh, either you can get it at Walmart, Target, or even Ulta on the drugstore, you know, like more affordable side. Um, everything was pretty much Elf, NYX, L'Oreal, want to say that or, or wet and wild and i think that was pretty much it uh so yeah this is definitely very affordable super easy super quick so i hope you guys enjoy this makeup look i love it hope you love it as well so if you want to see how i done this then just keep watching okay so to get started we are going to get all of this hair out of our face Please ignore this mosquito bite <laughs> throughout this video. So first we're going to get started with the e.l.f. mineral primer. This is just going to help even out my face, fill in those little pores and everything, and give us a good base to start with. So while that's sort of baking into my skin, I'm going to be taking this NYX Tame and Frame Brow Pomade and just filling in the tails of my brows. They're a little scarce. It makes the world of a difference, guys. I always make sure I hit up the ends of my brows. Now I'm going to go in with the green out of the Wet n Wild coverall palette. I'm just going to go and tap that on the red spots, any like acne marks or anything I got going on my face. The green is going to um, pretty much neutralize out any of the red. I'm going to take my Real Techniques little sponge blender and blend that out. And I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte and just going to blend that all over my face. Now we're going to go in with this yellow tone concealer and I'm just going to draw out pretty much like little triangular um, shapes underneath my eyes. I'm going to do that on both sides and after I do that I'm just going to blend it out with my sponge again. To set my little t-zone areas I'm just going to go in with this NYX HD finishing powder going to go underneath my eyes on my chin and also my forehead now I'm going to contour a little bit I'm going to use this NYX concealer I'm just going to go and line out my cheekbones and I'm going to blend that out with the same beauty blender sponge going to go in with this matte bronzer by NYX in the shade deep tan and I'm just going to pretty much just go over all of that concealer I just placed down this pretty much just sets everything and gives me a nice warm glow to my skin using that same bronzer I'm just going to take a fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to use this as our transition shade it's really going to warm up our eyelids Now we're going to go in with this Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette in the color Comfort Zone. I'm going to be using that eyelid shade, which is a really pretty champagne gold color, and just patting that into both of my eyelids. I really like this color. And following that shade, we're just going to go in with this crease shade, which is a really pretty chocolatey brown color. It's just going to warm up the creases of our eyes. And following that, you'll notice that I will go right back in with the same bronzer. I decided I wanted it to be just a little bit more warm. So you see here, I'm just going to go right back in and just warm up the transition area right there. 
Going in with one of my favorite mascaras. This is CoverGirl Super Size Fibers Mascara. I'm just going to go in and give all of my lashes one even coat. I promise, almost every time I do my mascara, this happens. But if this happens to you guys, just let it dry and I'll show you how to get it off. But for now, I'm just going to go back in with another layer of the L'Oreal Telescopic in Carbon Black. And now I'm just going to put on my blush while I wait for that dot of mascara to dry. And using that top left shade, we're just going to go in and give our cheeks a nice good blushing. Now just using a dry spoolie, I'm just going to brush that dry mascara right off. Wonderful. Now I'm going to use that top left shade in the Comfort Zone Wet n Wild palette and I'm just going to get that on my tear ducts and also underneath my brows on my brow bone. Going back in with that bronzer, I'm just going to take a smudging shadow brush and just smudge that on into my lower lash line. Now I'm going to use this Amore Matte Lip Cream in the shade Obsession, which I have to admit, I'm pretty obsessed with this color. It's by Milani. I love their matte creams. They are super wearable. They're not drying whatsoever and they last pretty much all day. I love this shade. It's a really nice cranberry burgundy color. So now I'm just going to go in with that same shade I did on my brow bone and my tear duct and I'm actually going to use that as a highlighter. I love products obviously that you can use for multiple things. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial and have a beautiful and blessed day guys. Thanks for watching.